हाय गाइस वेलकम टू एजुकेशन सिंप्लीफाइड चैनल इस वीडियो में हम थ्योरी ऑफ कंपैरेटिव एडवांटेज को समझेंगे थ्योरी ऑफ कंपैरेटिव एडवांटेज वाज प्रपोज्ड बाय डेविड रिकार्डो इन 19th सेंचुरी थ्योरी ऑफ कंपैरेटिव एडवांटेज डिमॉन्स्ट्रेट्स व्हाई इंटरनेशनल ट्रेड इज बेनिफिशियल टू अ कंट्री थ्योरी ऑफ कंपैरेटिव एडवांटेज सेज दैट कंट्री शुड ऑलवेज एंगेज इन इंटरनेशनल ट्रेड and import those goods in which it has a comparative advantage theory of comparative advantage is very important in international trade because before david ricardo proposed his theory mercantile theory was popular which basically stated that countries should try to maximize exports and minimize imports david ricardo contested this theory and said that instead of trying to manufacture each and every good countries should focus on manufacturing those goods where they have a comparative advantage now let's understand what is a comparative advantage a country has a comparative advantage in certain good if it can produce that good at a lower opportunity cost than the other country now what is an opportunity cost assume a country can make two goods rice and wheat If it chooses to increase the production of rice it will have to decrease the quantity of wheat it can produce and vice versa so opportunity cost of rice in this example is the unit of wheat we have to sacrifice in order to produce rice so opportunity cost is the unit of one good we have to sacrifice in order to produce another good So now coming back to the theory of comparative advantage David Ricardo said that a country should focus on producing and exporting those goods where it has a comparative advantage or in other words where it can produce the goods at a lower opportunity cost than the other country Let's understand this with the help of an example Suppose there are only two countries in the world Portugal and England and they produce only two goods wine and cloth Portugal takes 80 hours to produce one unit of wine and 90 hours to produce one unit of cloth. Similarly, England take 120 hours to produce one unit of wine and 100 hours to produce one unit of cloth. In this example, Portugal has absolute advantage over England in both the goods. It can produce both wine and cloth more efficiently than England. So, does that mean Portugal should produce both the goods? well it should not if we follow the theory of comparative advantage according to the theory of comparative advantage both countries should only focus on that good where it has a comparative advantage over the other and as we discussed countries will have comparative advantage in that good which it can produce at a lower opportunity cost so let's calculate opportunity cost for both the countries opportunity cost for portugal is the number of units of cloth it has to sacrifice to produce one unit of wine this can be calculated as 80 divided by 90 is equal to 0.89 opportunity cost for clothes for portugal can be calculated as 90 divided by 80 is equal to 1.125 similarly let's calculate opportunity cost for england for both the goods opportunity cost for wine for england is 120 divided by 100 is equal to 1.2 and opportunity cost for clothes for england is 100 divided by 120 is equal to 0.833 so in this example portugal has a lower opportunity cost than england when it comes to wine whereas england has a lower opportunity cost than portugal if we talk about clothes therefore portugal should produce wine and exchange surplus wine with england to get clothes similarly england should use its resources to produce clothes and exchange excess clothes with portugal to get wine thus both countries can be mutually benefit by engaging in international trade so to recap 
theory of comparative advantage says that countries should engage in international trade and should focus on producing that good which they can produce at a lower opportunity cost than the other country so friends this was our brief discussion on theory of comparative advantage i hope i was able to explain this concept in an easy to understand manner if you have any comment or any suggestions don't to forget to leave them in the comment box below and as usual don't forget to like this video and if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet please do subscribe and till we meet again have a good day